Hey all listeners, this is Prajesh Chaudhary Quantum Guru. In this video, I am going to present you a very good problem of combination of register. As you can see on your screen, the there is a network of register as shown. The resistance between any two nearest nodes is R and we have to find the equivalent resistance between A and B. So a careful examination, you will see that uh, no two resistors are in series, neither any two resistors are in parallel. So you cannot go ahead. So what you can do then? Then the usual method is to uh, go for Kirchhoff's law. Just put some battery between A and B. Let the battery is of EMF V and let the battery sense current I. Then R equivalent between A and B would be V by I. So that is a general way, just in the various branches we will assume some current x, y, z and something like that and then solve those current as a function of uh, in terms of i and then can go ahead. But can we do it a bit simpler using some symmetry arguments? Let's see. So this is a network of uh, resistors between A and B. Uh, let me name few points, uh, say this is point P, this Q, R and S. I just I want to just reorient this. So on rearranging the same thing I can write like that. See this is A and this is B. Now this is P and this Q is here. R is here. S is here. See this R that was here between A and P has come here. And this R between A and Q has come here. And between P and Q this R has come here. And similarly you can see all the resistors. Alright. Alright. Now. Now to find resistance, equivalent resistance between A and B, what we'll do, I'll put a battery of voltage V and let the battery sense a current I. So if the equivalent resistance between A and B is RAB, so battery will sense that there is only one single resistor RAB between A and B and accordingly it will send a suitable current I and I would be such that I would be V divided by RAB mean V is equal to I RAB. So that is the way we'll proceed. So this is the circuit. See if this resistor between P and S was not there. So that was a very straightforward thing. So then this R by R and this R by R, this R by R would have made this a a generalized Wheatstone bridge. So then P and Q would be at the same potential and R and S would be at the same potential. So no current will go between here and here. So all the current mean equal current will go this and this I by 2. And that would be very easy. But that's what is making it challenging to put a resistor uh, between P and S. So still there is a some degree of symmetry here. You can see there. So this diagonal element is uh, making it, suppose if we, I just look about this part, the symmetry is about this line. About this line, there is a one resistance here and its uh, mirror image is here. Its mirror image is this and its mirror image is this. So that is a diagonal symmetry. So in the diagonally, if the circuit is symmetric, so that is a kind of a reverse symmetry. So what the reverse symmetry says, so if a current X goes here, the same current will go here. And this current was I. So if I have assumed this path current is X, so that would be I minus X and this I minus X will go here. And the same thing would have been say, uh, applied if this was R and this was R dash and this was R dash and that was R. So again, the, so starting point here current will go same and that is because of bringing this resistor here. So that is clear. So this is x, this is x, this is i minus x, this is i minus x. Now here, in this part, this is q, so that will be q and this is p and this would be p, the same current will go and here I have assumed a current, uh, some different current y and you can see orally check. So if you go from here to here, all the resistors are the same. So all the potential drop should, uh, the sum of all PD potential drop should add up to zero. 
so because all resistors are same so i can take an ir part i can take r common so taking r common in this loop so that will be r into q plus q minus q minus p and that makes zero so that is quite satisfied and this loop and this loop are identical so now we can uh, proceed and find the value of x q p and y all right so first of all uh, let's apply apply kvl in this loop kirchhoff's voltage law or directly i can say i want to come from here to here through this path and through this path so starting from the same point reaching to the same point the pd on different path should be same so pd from here to here again all the resistors are the same so pd from here to here taking uh, before that we can uh, write the plus minus so these are the plus minus mean higher potential lower potential in a resistor potential drops in the direction of current so accordingly i have written all the plus minuses so once again from here to here same pd through these two element or through this element so the pd from here to here taking r common would be r into x plus p and pd from here to here is r into i minus x so that i have written here is r into x plus p is equal to r into i minus x r and r cancel and then simplifying that you will get p is equal to i minus 2x okay and this current i have assumed to be q so here we can apply kirchhoff's current law junction law so these two current are incoming and this is outgoing the sum of incoming current is equal to the sum of outgoing current so q is equal to p plus i minus x put the value of p here uh, which is i minus 2x and this is i minus 2x plus i minus x so q will be 2i minus 3x and now i want to apply kirchhoff's junction law here here see x is the incoming current and these all three are the outgoing current so the sum of incoming current and the sum of outgoing current should be same so here q plus p plus y or y plus p plus q is equal to x y plus p plus q is equal to x so put value of p plus p and q from here so p plus q p plus q would be 3i minus 5x here and simplifying y so we will get y is equal to 6x minus 3i 6x minus 3i and now i want to apply kvl in this loop because i want to use this y because uh, this loop and this loop are identical so no need to apply the again kvl here because you can see the same register are the same this is x this is x this is i minus x this is i minus x this is p this is p so either i can apply kvl here or here again these two loops are also identical so i can apply kvl on these and one more thing uh, if anybody has problem why i have chosen this x and x we can take all general values and if you take general values say this is x this is i minus x that is fine so you can use this y and this is i minus y similarly these are all and if you take a uh, general value so your variables will increase but then you can use all these loops so mathematics will be more but eventually you will come to the same value after solving like this current will come as this current this current will come as this current this current will come as this current and this current will come at this current so that is the benefit of looking the symmetry so we reduce the mathematical equation otherwise if you want to do the mathematics if you want to do all the work you can do okay so so now uh, as i say these loops are identical these loops are identical so i can take either one of these two so taking this loop so go from p to s through this path and this path path potential difference would be the same so as i go from here to here pd would be r into p plus q and going from here to here directly pd would be r into y so r into p plus q is equal to r into y r and r get cancelled 
for p plus q is equal to y, put the value of p plus q, that would be 3i minus uh, 5x, and uh, put the value of y, 3i minus 5x, 6x minus 3i, so that would make uh, 11x is equal to 6i, so x would be 6i by 11. And now put the value of the 6i by 11 in this. Basically, I am I need only q because as I go from here to here, all the resistors are the same. So r into x plus q plus i minus those that x would get cancelled. So in fact, in fact, if you want to find that, you can find the, all the currents. But right now, I need only q. So put this x is equal to 6i by 11 into this equation and we will get q is equal to 4i by 11, all right? Now, uh, this was the circuit again here and if RAB is the equivalent resistance and we put the battery here and battery is sending current I, so V would be I into RAB and we solve this Q equal to 4i by 11. Now see, this PD from here to here is same as PD from here to here, all right? The PD between A and B I can write uh, in the above branch and that is the same. So this is V. So this V is equal to this PD. So V is equal to, uh, again all the resistors are the same. I can take simply R common. So V is equal to R into bracket X plus Q plus I minus X. So V is equal to R into X plus Q plus I minus X. This X and X get cancelled. So that is r is equal to q plus i and put the value of this q here that is a 4i by 11 so we will get uh, uh, r into 15i by 11 just rearrange that so that has become r i into 15r by 11 and compare this with equation 1 we will get the r a b is equal to 15r by 11 and that's our answer thank you